Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. I hear you. Nice. Okay. Hi, Welcome. Good evening. Good you? evening. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Uh, ready for the class, right? Ready because yesterday was the very beginning, right? So yesterday we were kind of slow because it was Monday. But today we are with more energy because it's Tuesday, right? Second day of the week. Uh, let's see. We are... Um, uh, 17 participants right now. Appreciate the ones that are already with the camera on. Thank you for uh, being on time. Um, uh, let's start, okay, because it's time. Uh, let's see. Uh, remember that today we mentioned uh, yesterday, right? That today is the... Um, it's the last day for the second week, right? So... Um, Hopefully, and I think so, that you already have the section number three and the midterm exam done, okay? So that is the idea because today is the deadline, right? Today at midnight. So I guess tomorrow morning, uh, staff people or, you know, people from administrativos, they will check, they will review your scores for the platform, right? Remember that they have weekly, um, they have like weekly scores, right? So every single week, they are checking your progress. They are checking the uh, score that you have in the platform. So that is something very important that you know that you need to be on time, okay? You need to be on time with the activities, all the exercise that we have in the platform. So tomorrow we are going to start a new week okay that will be the third week okay that means that today we are in the middle of the course okay so you you are in the middle of the course today so tomorrow it's like a new week okay four more classes it will be a new week and um the idea is that you need to start working in the section number four and at least 50% of the section number five. So that is the um, work activities that we have from the platform. So that means that from tomorrow until uh, Monday the 14th, okay, the next Monday. So you need to complete the section number uh, four and 50% of the uh, section number five. And um, Friday the 18th is the last day, but I told you that you can complete the, uh, all the activities, all the exercise uh, from the platform, like two or two dates before the end, right? So take that into consideration, right? That uh, you better complete the platform in advance, okay? No espere. Eh, eh, el último día que usted va a trabajar en la plataforma, no, normalmente dos días antes del último día le van a estar diciendo que tiene que estar toda su plataforma completa. So, please uh, do not forget that important information because that is very important for you to do it because that is the way that you will be in the next course, right? So that is your passing score. Also, you know the attendance, right? So the attendance right here in these uh, video classes are very important, okay? So those are the two scores. So please, if you haven't finished, si alguien de aquí lo digo, no ha terminado la sección eh, tres, el examen de mi, mi, mitad de módulo, Please, haga el esfuerzo hoy mismo al terminar la clase, quedarse, trabajar unos minutos más y completar. Porque si no, el día de mañana van a estar mandando ahí al grupo de WhatsApp, fulano, sultano, mengano, ¿verdad? Miren, no ha trabajado. Sultano, mengano, ¿por qué no lo ha hecho? Entonces, para evitar ser ahí, ¿verdad? El más buscado en la lista negra del grupo, no aparecer ahí, mejor trabaje, ¿verdad? Para que el día de mañana, si revisan, ahí va a aparecer usted, complete, 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 ¿ok? And 
no va a haber lista negra. Pero si alguien no ha trabajado y no lo hace ahora, entonces pueda que aparezca ahí. Entonces, él tiene que explicar que por qué no ha trabajado. Entonces, igual, if you have a question or a doubt or something, so let us know, let me know, okay? And I will try to uh, help you out with the activities or uh, exercise that probably you have in troubles with, right? So, uh, nice, appreciate your cameras, okay? Let's see, um, Genesi, Alexandra, how are you today? How you feel? A little bit better, I can talk a little more. Yeah, I remember that you mentioned, right, that you were really sick, but I see that now you have your camera and that you are better. Okay, that is nice. What about you, Carlos Adolfo? Nice to see you one more time. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm fine. Uh, sorry, yesterday I was connecting. I was. I wasn't connecting. Because, yeah, I, uh, I saw you that you were connected in the class, but you were working, I guess, right? Yes, yes, this is correct. I okay. work, in, so I listen and I work here. <laughs> so you were doing the two the two actions, right? The two teams at the same time. So you were working and also uh, listen or paying attention to the class, okay? No problem, yes. Carlos, and that is something good. Remember, no matter what, no matter what, you need to be in the class, okay? If you are sick, if you are working, if you are traveling, if you are sick, whatever happened to you, you must be in the class, okay? So what you can do, as Carlos did it yesterday, you can send me a message or you can put right here in the chat, I am fulanito de tal, right? I have a problem with this and this and this, so I'm working or I'm sick or whatever. But I will be as a listener, right? I will be paying attention in the class, but I won't be able to participate because of la 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 la, whatever, right? So that is nice. That is nice, okay? Because you don't list your points for the attendance. Remember that at the end, you need to get 80% for the attendance. And if you don't get the 80%, I'm sorry, you are out of the course, right? You are out of the problem, the program, I'm sorry. And um, you will lose, right? Your uh, space or you will lose your, uh, the opportunity that you have, okay? So that is something that you need to be uh, clear and, you know, be careful about it, right? Thank you. Nice, no problem. Let's see, Freddy Alberto, nice to see you one more time. How are you, Freddy? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, so you look in a fancy, like in a fancy, I don't know, like in, in a mirror, you look like in a mirror and you have a, a fancy sofa in your back, but that's nice. That's a nice background. I like it, okay? Thanks. <laughs> nice. Let's see, what else? We have Mr. Emanuel Efraín. Nice to see you, Mr. Emanuel Efraín. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I spend resting at home because uh, I I sick. Oh my goodness, you are sick. I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. How do you, how do you say uh, uh, grip in English? Uh huh. Let's see, Jorge Mauricio. How do you say tengo gripe? I don't know. I know. You don't know. I Let's have see, I don't know. Daniela Mercedes. How do you say tengo gripe? Um, uh -huh. Daniela, go ahead. I, I don't remember. I mean, uh -huh. is cold, but but uh -huh. gripe no, no recuerdo. I don't okay, remember. Freddy. Freddy will uh, help us, okay? Go ahead, I, Freddy Albert. I, I have flu. Perfect. A flu, okay? Uh -huh. A flu, it's a gripe, okay? Okay. Now, Teacher, um, but... but uh, uh -huh. But I am very happy uh, to be here with us. Okay, thank you, Efraín. Nice. We appreciate your words, okay? And I see that you are there in the class, exciting and everything, even though you are sick, right? That's nice. So I have the flu, okay? Or I have a flu, Efraín, okay? Tengo gripe. I have 
flu or I have the flu, okay? So that is the, the gripe right now. If you have something else, ahí es otra enfermedad, right? So, or if you don't want to say, if you say I'm sick, it's okay, estoy enfermo, pero no dice que, verdad? I'm sick. Or I have an illness. You know what is an illness? ¿Ya conocen la palabra illness? Enfermedad. Enfermedad, ok. I have an illness, ok. No dice qué, pero tengo una enfermedad, tengo algo, right? So, I am sick, ok. I have an illness, ok. But in this case, if it is gripe, I have a flu, ok. So, ya si es uh, fever, that is something else, right? Or stomachache or headache. So, that is other illness, right? So, nice. Let's see, Sandra Noemi, tell us uh, what dates today. Good evening, teacher. Uh, today is Tuesday, August 18, 2023. August 18? My goodness, you are in advance. August 18. Ah, okay, eight. Okay, eight with a eight. TH, okay. Nice, Sandra Noemi. Okay, yeah, today is Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, that is the pronunciation. Tuesday, August, August, no tanto como una U, más como una O, right? August, August, uh, eight, right? Eight with a TH, um, 2023, okay, 2023. Uh, nice, okay, so that is the date. So. Uh, let me move on right here to the attendance document because you know that I have to pass the attendance at the very beginning and then we review the, the attendance, right? Um, to see if we have some, someone joining the class, right? So today is the eight. So please, uh, like always, uh, let me know if you are here. So Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Nice, Priseida Janet. Present. Nice. And uh, then we have Carlos Adolfo. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Claudia Yesenia. Present. Nice, Claudia. Uh, Daniela Mercedes. I'm here. Nice, Daniela. Uh, Emanuel Efraín. Emanuel, nice. I see you are there. Uh, Present, let's teacher. See. Thank you, sir. No problem. Evelyn Janet. Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no? Uh, let's see, Freddy Alberto. Hi, teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Nice. We missed you yesterday, right? But let me ask you, Freddy, you you didn't connect it yesterday or see? Porque sí, me acuerdo que vi un mensaje suyo que pidió permiso, pero no sé si yes. entró. No, I can't. I, I was. You couldn't. Okay, was, you couldn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I see the message as well. Remember que cuando alguien no viene, se comunican con usted, right? Uh, okay, no problem, uh, Freddy, no problem. So let's see, um, Glenda Lisset. Okay, Glenda, we also missed you yesterday, okay? Veo acá que tuvo un problema y por eso no se logró conectar, but it's nice that you are here. So, Ileana Mariel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Um, Janessi Alexandra. Present. Nice, Miss. Uh, Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson, no entrado aún. Eh, let's see, Jorge Mauricio. Present. Thank you, Mister. Let's see, then we have Jocelyn Tatiana. Present, teacher. Nice. Juan Jose Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Kevin Ariel. 
Kevin Ariel, no. Eh, Luis Miguel. Me pareció I'm que estaba here. conectado. Ok. Nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rachel Esther. Present teacher. Nice. Uh -huh. Rachel, let's see right here. Ok. No problem. I see the reason. Ok. That you were not here yesterday, but it's ok. Uh, let's see. Then we have Rebecca Paola. Present means. Nice. Uh, Ronald... Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, let's see, Roxana Marisol. Roxana, yeah, okay, nice. Eh, Sandra Noemi. Present. Okay. And Sara Verónica, que yo creo que ella ya, no. Eh, bien, so we have last absence today at least, right? So, por lo menos hay menos faltantes, okay? So, nice. Remember, the attendance is very important. Yesterday, I remember that I mentioned your scores, right? So, hasta el día de ayer mencioné los porcentajes más o menos que llevan de tiempo conectado, okay? So, probablemente el viernes podemos volver a revisar qué porcentaje lleva para que usted tenga una idea. Eh, pues sí, cuánto lleva y cuánto le falta y si ya llegó a la meta del 80 ya se pasó o cuánto le falta, right, para que usted tenga la, la idea, ok so let's uh, start let me share the screen really quick and uh, we are going to continue with the manual, right, the activities that we have, so I remember that yesterday we mentioned uh, we did an activity, right but we couldn't finish because the time was not enough, ok so we complete this part, so we stop right here, right in the reading part, and we mentioned that we are going to read today. So, uh, but let me see right here in the group because the the uh, the biographies, right? So they were some biographies. They they were uh, sending it into the WhatsApp group, right? Uh, let's see where is the group. My goodness, aquí lo acabo de tener y ya no lo encuentro. Um, ah, here it is. Okay. So we have the two descriptions. Okay. It says uh, number one, it says he's a famous singer. He's from uh, Puerto Rico. He has 30 years to career and he's uh, great. Creo que quisieron ahí poner great dancing. He's 51 years old. My goodness, she, he is really old. He is married with John Joseph, a painter, but they get divorced, I guess. I don't know. The most important sum is living la vida loca. That is a worldwide or recognized. So who's that uh, singer, Freddy Alberto? Let's see. Did you know who is he? Um. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, we are reading. Okay, so um, what you are seeing in the screen is the reading. Ya vamos a leer lectura, pero esto está en el grupo de WhatsApp, right? Yeah, in the group of WhatsApp, se enviaron estos uh, biographies, uh, right, from famous okay. people. So okay, I'm thanks. reading. I'm reading the message that we have in the WhatsApp. Let's okay. see, Iliana Maria. So who's the this famous singer? Mm, is Ricky Martin. Okay, yeah, it is Ricky Martin, right? So, Mariel, oh my goodness, you send it, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, so you have the answer, my God. So, anyway, let's see the next one. It says, uh, room two. She's an American singer. She's a beautiful person. Her best friend is Selena Gomez. She's kind with her fans. She just uh, to have a, she used to, creo que quisieran poner ahí, right? She just to have a crush, um, Jimmy Fallon. She's a singer right now. She's uh, her working, a hard working, I creo que hay un spelling error, hard working woman. Her parents are Scott 
as uh, meat, no, sweet, switch, and Andrew switch. Okay. Uh, she is. Uh, she is in the music industry. Okay. So who is it? Let's see. Ana Cristina, do you know who is that famous American singer? Yes, Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith. My goodness. She's really famous. The Taylor Sweet, right? That would be Taylor Sweet. Okay. So, well, so this uh, was the activity that we have from yesterday. Para los que no vinieron, tal vez están diciendo qué es lo que está leyendo. ¿va? Son estos mensajitos que, que estaban ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero que no lo logramos <coughs> terminar el día de ayer. Okay. <coughs> so, my goodness. So, the idea is guessing, right? Pero estos que escribieron aquí están como muy fáciles, right? So, rápido adivinan. Vamos a ver. Invéntese uno, Juan, Juan José García. Tell us a small, like a short biography and let's see if we are able to guess who that person can be. Sobre cualquier persona. A, a famous, famous people can be. <clears throat> My favorite person is uh, Luan no, Oliveira. No, you don't have to say the name. So you have to oh, describe yeah, yeah, the yeah. person and the idea. It's that we need to guess, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he is my professional skateboard. He lives in Porto Alegre, Brazil. Um, he has uh, 28 years old. Um, he is, so he is. Remember Juan Jose, when we have uh, the years that we you need to say how old someone is or are right so that will be um he is okay he is 20 he is 50 he is whatever right right <clears throat> okay continue um, i don't know if you have something else and has <clears throat> he has um 15 year um of practice of the skateboard. Um, uh, it's all. Okay, so let's see. Jocelyn Tatiana, do you know the answer? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's it, people. Okay, so you don't know who that person can be. Let's see, Claudia Yesenia, do you know who that person it is? Me neither, teacher. I don't know. My goodness. No, los ha puesto difícil, right? So let's see who knows the answer. Someone? Nos mató este Juan José. Ajá. Carlos Adolfo, ¿usted qué sabe? Sorry, teacher. I don't know some people famous. Biografía, sí, no. Lo siento. Ok, so no one, no one knows the answer. Nadie, nadie sabe, nadie supo. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. So, well, tell us the answer, Juan Jose, because we don't really know who it's the person that you are describing. Juan Jose? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. So you are describing someone, right? Usted está describiendo un famous people. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. who, who that person it is. ¿Quién es el que usted describió? He's a professional skateboard. 
Ah, okay. So we don't really know about skateboarding, right? So that's the problem, Juan Jose. So probably, yeah, that person, probably, yeah, right? It is, it is famous, but since we are not really familiar with, um, with uh, skateboarding people, right? So we don't know, okay? But it's okay, it's okay. So let's see, uh, remember, Think in someone, pero no diga quién, ¿ok? So, usted piensa en alguien que <coughs> sabe usted que es una famous people, can be actor, singer, dancer, uh, cook, chef, I don't know, right? <coughs> and the idea is that you need to describe, right? Describe someone, and we need to guess who that person is. Let's see, uh, Luis Miguel, can you help us? Can you describe someone? Uh, famous. Okay. Uh, famous person that I choose is from uh, China. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, uh, art martial uh, teacher, and he used to he or she i'm sorry make some he he okay i think yes he mm -hmm. used to practice uh martial arts uh especially mm -hmm. um kung fu and um, aikido um another uh -huh. Uh, he used to do uh, classic uh, Chinese movies. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, who says no. you, Freddy? Cigar. <laughs> That's the answer, uh, Luis Miguel? No. No, no, Freddy, sorry, it's not. So but it's in the same age. But it's on the same age. Okay. So who is it? Carlos Adolfo, invente. I think can be Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan? Um no. Uh, Yaki Chan participate in, in a movie with he, but it's, it's not Yaki Chan. I think I know who is, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> but I think I know who, who is that person, but I don't remember the name. I'm not good with Bruce the name. Lee. No. Uh, no, but. Ya vamos a llegar. The, the famous people uh, was the teacher. Deadly. From, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's the one, right? Yes. In the okay. movie, he used to be the teacher by Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That is a good actor, right? That's a good one. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, uh, Luis. Let's see, one lady, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Teacher, uh, teacher. Yep. I have uh, any person too. Okay, so go uh, ahead, go ahead. Emmanuel. She is a, a beautiful she, girl. Okay. She, uh, she is a blondie. She's uh, blondie? She, she is uh, living in the United States. She yeah. lives in the United States or yes. she's living, okay? She's living in the United States. Um, the singer, uh, Chica Materialista. The mm -hmm. song. The song, okay. Uh-huh, Carlos Adolfo, you are laughing, so tell us the answer. Madonna. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, she with the name of the son, so we get it, right? So immediately we get it. Okay, yes. nice. Thank you, uh, Emmanuel Efrain. I don't know. Would you like to try uh, somebody else? 
Me? Who? Freddy. Okay, so tell us, Freddy. Uh, he's a famous people. He, okay, he. Uh, he he's old, around 50 years. Um, he's an actor. Um, my favorite movie is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Who is he? Who is he? Johnny Depp. Yes. Ah, <laughs> very, very easy. Very easy. Yeah, I'm, I was confused and I was like, <laughs> and I was thinking in somebody else, but that's nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyone? Alguien más que quiera? Try it with somebody else. No? Yeah, teacher. Okay, okay, Jocelyn, Tatiana, go ahead. Okay. Um, she's a, a singer. Uh, she lived, oh, she was, she was in Colombia. Uh, she's a songwriter. And she has two songs. And she is a beautiful girl. And she, she likes to dancing. And she was born on February 2, and 19. Uh, 17. And your mother is speaking in Spanish and Italy, and your father uh, is in, a this, in this case, her, right? Her mom, her, her father. Her mom, mm -hmm. uh -huh. her mom uh, see, she is Spanish in Italy, and her father is in Lebanese. Okay, yes. so she, uh -huh. she, she is a polyglot girl, is a uh, Shakira. Yes, <laughs> my goodness, uh -huh. okay, you are very good, Efrain. Okay, because if you you mentioned many details, right? But you were like mentioning like not the most like famous details about her because if you mention that she is a famous singer Colombian so immediately right we think on on her okay nice okay okay thank you uh-huh let's see <laughs> okay nice so we are going to continue okay so no se nos va se nos va el tiempo ya es está nice pero we need to continue with the manual okay so um we have this reading why do you need a job let's answer the question daniela mercedes why do you think that you need a job signing money uh-huh <laughs> I need money. Uh, I have to. I have to. To. How do you say adquirir? To get. Okay. I have to get experience for uh, future jobs. Okay, so because you want to get experience, okay? You want to get experience, okay? Nice. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Um, Claudia Yesenia. Claudia Yesenia, why uh, do you need a job? Why? Um, the, the same reason of Daniela. Um, because I need to earn uh, a salary, and pay the bills, and uh, to get experience, mm -hmm. and maybe to become an um, entrepreneur. 
Okay, to be independent, right? To become independent, okay? So that is nice, that is nice, okay? Let's see, one more. Um, Ana Cristina, ya le preguntamos, pero vamos en el second round. So Ana Cristi, so what do you think? Why do you need a job? Okay, um, for get um, salary. Okay, uh, to get, get a salary, very experience. important. I'm sorry, one more time. Uh, uh, get um, experience uh, for a future job. Um, and independent. Okay, to have a salary, to have uh, independence life and, and on, right? So you know that nowadays is really important, right? Especially if you are a, um, if you have a, a life, right? A responsible life and you have family and you have, I don't know, responsibilities. So we really need a job, right? So it says right here, scan the profile or these profiles, you know, what is a profile, right? When we say right here, scan the profiles. ¿Qué es eso de los profiles? Perfiles. Okay, perfiles, right? So, perfiles. Okay, so... Let me see right here. Okay, it says right here that we have um we have a we have uh people right here who is who is a high school, who is in a college, and who is a new parent. Okay, so look at the pictures without seeing the, the letters. Who uh, do you think that it is the um the high school student this lady right here teresa karen or laymar i think it's lamar lamarick okay and it says that we have a college student so what is college that is um university right for for us it's a university right university a student and someone that becomes a new parent, okay? Or will be, will be probably, right? So let's read, okay? Let's see, and we are going to be able to identify who that person is. Okay, Janessa, to feed my pets. <laughs> okay, especially if you have more than one pet or dog or cat or whatever, so you need money. It's not easy. You have to spend a lot of money taking care of your pets, right? Nice. Uh, let's see. Teresa Glass. Uh, let's see. Um, Iliana Mariel, help us with the reading, please. Try to read the full paragraph right here about Teresa. Okay. Teresa Glass, I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay, very nice. Okay, so it says I don't have time to work. My goodness, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Thursday and Thursday, uh, Tuesday. I'm sorry, and on Tuesday and Thursday mornings, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience but I can learn quickly. So Teresa, she is the college student, right? So she's the one. Let's see, let's see the next. Um, Efraín, Emmanuel, help us with Karen Thomas, the second reading, please. 
Okay, teacher. Uh, Karen Thomas, my husband, and I have a new baby. He makes he make a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money, money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a, a job. I can do at home. I know how to type, I'm sorry. And I have a computer. And I have a <clears throat> computer. So my husband and I have a new baby. So that means that Karen is the one that it's becoming a mom, right? So she, he makes a good salary, but we don't have very much money. But we don't save, okay? We don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job. Um, I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer, okay? So she's the one that will, it's becoming a new mom, right? So she's the one that will be learning how to take care of a baby and deal with everything that you know comes with the new <coughs> member. Okay, uh, let's see, Carlos Adolfo, read the last one, please, about uh, Leymar Andrews. Okay, uh, Lamar Andrews. I'm, six, I'm 16 now, and I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go, go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father, own, my father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, nice. So imagine he's a baby, he's 16 years, my goodness. I don't get an um, allowance. So what is allowance? I don't get an allowance. De acuerdo, no. Acuerdo. Allowed es como permitir, no sé si ah, yeah, sería yeah. como mm -hmm. que ya no quiere que sus papás le digan qué hacer o algo así. Perfect, okay. So allowed is permitir. In this case, mm. allowance. Allowance, okay. okay. So uh, he's a kid, right? So I'm a baby, the 16, right? I am 16 now and I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore. So, o sea, ya no lo están como cuidando tanto. O sea, ya es un muchacho, right? So, entonces... This uh, right here, I need to earn some money, okay? Because I like to go out on weekends with my friends. So, typical, right? So, necesita dinero para ir a fregar. So, I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to, to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. So, my father owns, ¿qué quiere decir acá? Propietario, que es propietario. Ajá, el dueño, el dueño, ok. So, ajá, el dueño, right? El dueño uh, del restaurante. Entonces, él anda buscando un trabajo que esté relacionado a eso, pues porque él tiene la experience, right? So, um, do we have any other word right here that you consider that you don't know? ¿Alguna palabra que usted haya visto? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let, I'm going to do these questions, okay? You will, you will, you have the three names. Uh, let's see, um, Sandra Noemi, who's the one to uh, want to save money? Who's that person? Is um, Lamar? Mm -hmm. He's the one that wants to save money. Karen Thomas. 
Ah, okay. The, 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 the second one, right? Because remember that she has a baby, she's a new mom, and it says right here that they want to save money because they want to. ¿Por qué quieren ahorrar? They want to buy a house. Perfect. They want to buy a house. Okay. Let's see. The second one, Juan Jose, who wants to earn money for college? Teresa. Okay. Perfect. The first one, right? Teresa, because she is the one that, she is this college student, right? Let's see. Um, yeah. Jocelyn Tatiana. I'm sorry, Jose Mauricio is there. Jose Mauricio, uh, who wants to go out on weekends? Eh, la pregunta es para mí. Ya, uh -huh. ¿qué se ah, es que, es no que... Mauricio, sorry. Es que como me dijo José, <ríe> me confundí. Ok, ok, sí, José le dije, right, Jorge, Jorge, sorry, Jorge Mauricio. Who wants to go out on weekends? Lamar. Lamar, right? So he's a teenager. He's a person that wants to go party the, on weekends, right? That's why he's looking for a job because he needs the money. And the last one who wants to buy a house. So we already mentioned, okay? We already mentioned, it, right? So let's see. Uh, we are going to continue, okay? Remember that I told you that this part says right here, Sales assessment. ¿Qué dijimos que era el sales assessment? Como una autoevaluación. Autoexamen. Autoevaluación, auto right? There you go. Sales assessment. So es una autoevaluación. That means that these pages no las vamos a hacer acá por primero el tiempo no da. Second, this is a sales assessment. So this is like an extra practice for you, right? So you can check on this, <clears throat> on these pages. And the idea is that this is like a review, like a recap about the, uh, the exercise that we already covered, right? So if you have time, please uh, do it, okay? So then we have section three, how much is it? Okay, how much is it? Uh, let's see what we have right here the meaning of colors in the United States. So I heard before about this, right? I don't know if you know about this uh, theory, right? Si se puede decir teoría, right? Theory about the colors, right? I don't know. We will see what is like the um, quality, if we can say it like this, that represents the color, right? But for example, if you see something right, so it says right here that this is something pure, right? So, and sometimes we uh, associate, right, the color with something, okay? For example, if we see red, so we thinking low, right? So red hard, right? We say, oh, this is low, right? But uh, this is based on the United States. It says right here that this is based on, and from information from think, guess, I don't know, I'm not able to see, but esto es the US, right? The US. Um, let's see. Read the colors. Um, Genesi, please help us reading the colors and the, the meaning, okay? The positive meaning that supposedly they have. Okay, um, white, uh, white uh, means pure, uh, great, uh, boring, black means sad, brown means friendly, purple means mysterious, pink means loving, red means exciting, orange means fun, Yellow, happy, green, yellow, jealous, and yellow. I can I can read the the light blue one. I don't understand what it says. Hmm. 
It's blurred. Sorry, que creo blue. que no. No, it's a beautiful, I guess, beautiful blue. blue. Mm -hmm, because no, no se mira, mira. But it's okay, it's okay, no problem, okay? Thank you, um, Genesi. So, I don't know, I will not agree with all the colors. Mm, but this is, you know, US, uh, like a article, probably it says right here, this is information from a think article, okay? So, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Um, Freddy Alberto, which is your favorite color from the ones that we have right here? My favorite color is uh, two colors, uh, green and, uh, and purple. Okay, purple. so your favorite colors are green and purple. So yes, do, you, uh, do you think that you can associate the green color with someone or something yellow? Oh, peace. Uh, yellow, uh -huh. mm -hmm. maybe peace, peace. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. in my case, if I see something green, I think in nature, right? So mm -hmm. we associate with nature, but right here it says yellow. Uh -huh. So it is not a good um, mm -hmm. quality, I would say that would be negative. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's see. Yellow, it's okay for me because Mm -hmm. My favorite color is yellow. I don't know why, but that's my favorite. And I really like to see yellow things. And when I see something yellow, I feel happy. Or I feel, um, I don't know, exciting. But then the rest of the colors, imagine pink. It says loving, loving. So I will say red, right? But this is something that there are theories okay there are theories about colors okay but let's see this is not something very very important right so that will depend on the perception of everyone right so let's continue we have a few minutes they are perfect for you okay the conversation it's called they are perfect for you okay and this is a conversation between steve and Maria, and it says, <clears throat> oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. Uh, these red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones, oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? Uh, that blue one right there, how much is it? It's 80, I'm sorry, it's $42. That's expensive. Eight, uh, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present, okay? Happy birthday. So that is the conversation, right? Probably they are friends or they are a couple, I don't know. But at the end, he's, you know, giving the necklace as a birthday present for her. So do we have any new word right here or something that it's not clear? No, no hay ninguna palabra, no hay ninguna duda. Teacher, eh, yeah. necklace es como gargantía o como cadena. We say collar, right? So we Coyar. say un, un collar, una, una cadenilla, right? Collar in Spanish. Collar. Eh, uh -huh. ne ne necle necklace eh, significa eso, ¿verdad? Collar. There you go. Yeah, that, that's right. Okay. Necklace. Un, un collar, una gargantilla. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Any other word right here? Mm -hmm. All right, so solo uh, right here, um, the yellow ones, okay, the yellow ones, este ones, si usted me dice, hey, the yellow, it's okay, pero esta frase, o sea, recuérdese que este es eh, eh, no una traducción textual del español al inglés, this is English, right, thinking in English, writing in English, right, 
the yellow ones, los amarillos. ¿Alguien me puede decir, mire, ese ones es como un... Plural. Un, y sí, es porque, porque estamos hablando de earrings, right? Son dos. Mm -hmm. Pero este ones, alguna uh, vez me dijeron, pero eso está de más. Y yo le digo, oh, I like the yellow. Usted me entiende que le estoy diciendo que los amarillos. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's true. But wow. uh, this is not like a literal, literally translation. Okay. No vamos a hacer como una traducción así tan marcada, tan literal, tan textual. Right. Este once es como un énfasis que se le está dando a los amarillos. No los amarillos. Right. So I'm talking about the earrings. Okay. That is something that we can use, right? When we are talking and we use, we use those words, it sounds good because that means that we know English, right? If you just simply say, oh, the yellow, okay? That is perfect for me, I think so. So expressions like in Spanish, nosotros usamos expresiones así en español como redundante, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Redundando en lo mismo, pero que tienen sentido. Right, so the same story right here in English, okay? So uh, tomorrow probably we are going to practice, right? The, the reading, the conversation, and we are going to see this, okay? The, the ones, and this is the, what I'm telling you, right? Mira, demonstratives, pl uh, plural and singular, right? So, but when we are going to use it, right? Which one, cuáles, okay? Son como, Palabras redundantes, pero que tienen que ir porque le van, le van a dar significado a la, a la pregunta o a la oración que usted esté usando o haciendo pregunta, ¿ok? So, uh, because of the time, so we are going to stop and I need to uh, validate the attendance before to let you go, ¿ok? Like always, you know that I'm going to mention just people that it's absent, okay? So, si usted no le menciona es porque ya le tomé asistencia desde el inicio. So, please just let me know, uh, Flor de María, if you are here. Flor de María Sánchez, no? Um, Jefferson Alexander? <coughs> Jefferson no está. Um, Kevin Ariel? Kevin Ariel, Sara Veronica. Sara Veronica. So we have four absences today. So if I didn't mention your name, it's because you do have the attendance, right? Solo menciono al final los que no me contestaron al inicio, okay? So, but then uh, the rest, you do have the attendance. So uh, we are going to stop for now. And remember that tomorrow we have class, right? So we have classes the whole week okay from monday to friday and the same story will be next uh, week right next week will be the last one okay so please do not miss classes do not miss right be in the class le toca trabajar le toca hacer lo que sea está enfermo como sea conéctese aunque sea de cuerpo presente right ahí esté indique que está ahí pero no falte porque al final Así de fácil se lo digo, usted no llega al 80%, lo van a dejar fuera del programa. Entonces lo que pretendemos es que usted no pierda el espacio, usted conecte, se pida permiso de estar como oyente, right? But be in the class, that is very important, right? Be in the class, don't forget to work in the platform, ok? Lo mencioné al inicio, la plataforma, hay que trabajarla porque mañana es probable que haya revisión de la semana 2. Ok, so time is over. Thank you so much for your attendance and being in the class. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Ok, so thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Take care bye, and everyone. see you Good tomorrow. Night. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Take care and see you tomorrow. Ok. Gracias. Mm -hmm.